Hey guys, it's Nick Taylor. Coming to you from the future where I have made pretzels and eaten... This is my third one. On this recipe, I've changed things up a little bit. Just due to some feedback, due to continuously looking at what I'm up to. Um, I'm really wanting to create some really effective, efficient, funny, personally developing, amazing recipe videos for you guys. And I realized that so much of the bulk of the recipes was actually telling you what ingredients that I'm putting in and when and what I was doing, which is just not really that efficient when I write the recipe out and the directions in the description, which most people were just here for, for this, you know? So, um, yeah, I've just been for a swim, hence the, uh, actually this is, this is a fucking nice t-shirt anyway, hence the hair. But yeah, I had a little story towards the end while V and I are trying out pretzels about this crazy shit that was going on last week with just life and how when we ask for change and we imagine the next evolution of our life, we meet challenges and how to move through those challenges. So it's a really interesting one. Um, this recipe is going to be hopefully a lot quicker. Uh, let me know if you enjoy this format a bit more. I'll have some edits in there. I hope it's super top notch and I'll see you guys next week. So welcome back to the kitchen evolution and this terribly shiny fucking kitchen. This is going to be the second to last time you guys have to see this place. So you're welcome. It is another ridiculously hot day here today. It's meant to be thunderstorm soon, so if you hear some bang bang, you know what that is. Um, but no aircon, all the fucking windows are closed, and I'm, I should have just done a recipe how to make a fucking ice bath, because that would be ideal. First thing we're going to do... A few moments later... Oh yeah, this will be a real quick recipe. Um, where the bloody hell is my bloody tablespoon? Five minutes later. Two thousand years later. I'm gonna use silver spoon because my tablespoon has gone on holiday. Oh my god. Yeast infection. And that concludes our yeast and sugar mixing session. Look at that foamy fucking boy. That is yeastier than a hooker's panties. Let's get right on in there, mate. <laughs> right on in there. Ah, got the fucking nose is itchy. It's a nice, uh, nice soft dough. Oh, it smells yeasty as. Last time I did a rising for some dough, uh, I left it on the counter with no lid to show the dough rising, but some flies decided to fuck on the dough. So, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna cover it up this time. We'll come back in one hour. One hour later. Look at the swollen bad boy. We are going to do what's called punch the dough. So we're gonna divide this into eight even pieces. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can get the scales out if you want, but I mean, two nice breasts will be perfectly fine. Divide the breasts again to get some very small breasts. And then again, 
to get some massive balls. <laughs> Gonna get eight pretzels. I'm gonna roll them out to a nice even log, about 45 centimeters long. God damn slippery, me look like an amateur. Look at that. Wet my hands. So too much flour is actually gonna give you a slippery surface instead of just being able to roll it. So here we go. Here we fucking go, boys. Oh. A big one. Oh. So before we twist our pretzels, we're just going to chuck our water on for our baking soda bar and also preheat the oven to 400, also known as uh, 200 Celsius. Hey guys, I'm coming to you with my head in the freezer because if I didn't mention it, See if I can remember how to do these without fucking it up. So, there, there, there. Oh yeah! Disregard. That is not it at all. Um, I forgot how to do them. How do you do them? How do you do them? It's like skirt, skirt, and then skirt, skirt, and then oh. You nailed it. Skirt, skirt. Oh, that's if you want the double squirt, squirt. It's yeah. not squirt, squirt. Squirt, squirt. That's, that's naughty language. Um, um, it looks like a snake. Snake. <laughs> One, two, that's just a duck. That looks so yeah, much see, bigger though. Yeah, but they puff up heat. Like, it looks like a legit crate. Stuff. Wait, is that even in the camera? There you go, dudes. Look at those, look at those model hands. There you go, my dudes. Fuck, that looks gangster. Um, yep. Kind of ignore that first one. We got that, that double skirt, skirt going on. See, this is... I'm good at cooking, I'm not good at making stuff look nice, so you can go watch some other fucking YouTube for that. Super consistent. Oh god, these are stuck with shit. This one is gonna be absolutely ginormous. <laughs> yeah, nice. And now we have a fucking short one again. That one looks cute actually, really cute. That one's slightly obese. Uh, like me, I don't go to the gym. Once the uh, water's boiling, we want to turn it off and take it off. We'll chuck our baking soda in there for the baking soda bath. What are you drinking? Yerba. Yerba, mate. Yerba, mate. Oh shit. <laughs> I just completely annihilated this box thinking it had a plastic bag in it, but no. Completely fucked it up. My name's Nick and I get everything out in advance and make sure it's clean so I can use it straight away, not. Oh, fizzy. Oh, <laughs> My other tray is in the, in the drawer where the camera tripod is. Oh, no it's not. Thank you, cooking Jesus. It's probably not a good idea having the laptop right next to the sink. Um, yeah, probably not ideal. Gotta give our pretzels a little bath. They've been very dirty. <laughs> so five seconds or so. i got to admit, they look fucking good, don't they? They haven't even been cooked. Let's have some raw pretzels. Oh, absolute professional over here. The oven heated to the right temperature at the same time I'm almost finished. Um, just ignore these next couple. Uh, they're monstrous. <laughs> I, uh, I need to make more in here for me. Jesus. And the absolute work of art, the double twisty. Hello. Look at my tea towel, it matches my t-shirt. <laughs> How cute. Oh my god. 
next lot. Uh, the other ones are about another minute away because glass is non-reactive. This is reactive, so it cooks quicker. Yay! That's some big ass boys there. If you can recall from last week when I had the old uh, <laughs> accident. Um, Damn puppy! That is some dank ass shit. Actually, I'll close it because noises and flies. Oh my god, what was that? Where is it? Episode 5 the uh, demonic wasp that can teleport. I got my gangster fucking double twisty boy. You just got a peasant one. We've just been for a swim. Can we eat them now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretzels are delicious, if you didn't know. This is where it's at when it comes to pretzels. She knows, she's German, so. Oh yeah. And, and if you didn't know, if you're not German, but you want to know the German word for pretzels, it's actually pretzels. So, was it last week? Last, last week was week. fucking crazy. So V, yeah. my wife who does absolutely nothing wrong, and tried to get taken advantage of and manipulated by an absolute fucking crazy person. And it was actually like, it wasn't that enjoyable, was it? Like getting harassed and... Oh no. My wife's like an incredible coach. She's like a female coach. She does all sorts of gangster shit. Valahag.com if you want to check her out. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was, it was nuts. And I guess the thing is when it comes to this, you see this kind of shit happen all the time. When people ask, or they, you know, pep talk themselves, they ask the universe, they pray, whatever you do to ask for the next level. They're like, you know, I'm so ready for this to happen. You know, I'm so ready for my next income goal. I'm so ready for my next powerlifting goal. I'm so ready for, you know, the next evolution of my relationship. And then the same people get shitty when these challenges occur to put us in that direction. It comes with complete self-awareness is that when you are calling in these next levels, these evolutions, you know, the next step, the, the whatever it is that you're calling in, recognize that when the inevitable challenge comes along, it's almost a little bit of a test to determine, you know, did you really mean that? Or was that just something you were like joking around with? I want you to recognize that and create that self-awareness the next time you're like, I'm so ready for my next powerlifting PR, I'm so ready for my next, you know, income goal. You'll reach a challenge, you'll meet a challenge, and you've got to meet that challenge head on with self-awareness and understand that it's exactly this experience that you need to move through in order to get to that thing that you're calling in. And it was just so fitting because of our experience last week. You know, you'd said, look, I'm so ready. We had the, the biggest month that she's ever had in business. And it was still, okay, I feel really ready for this like next level, you know, like, and that's when this whole like thing happened. And she dealt with it with, you know, integrity, with poise, with, um, with self-awareness. And that experience ended up being a lot more easy than it possibly could have been. Um, and I think it's just a really important lesson for people to know. So. And I hit my biggest ever goal last month. Yeah, so I already like, said that. Don't brag. Well, fucking humble. Be humble. Sit down. Already sitting. Stand up. So yeah. Will the real some shady please stand up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Did did you know she hit her biggest month ever last month? Amazing. She never talks about it. I was gonna say that because I was able to face the situation with that mindset, I was able to keep growing because if I'd let it get to me, or, <clears throat> oh, if, yeah. I'd, or, if, I, or if I'd like, you know, really like succumb to the challenge because it wasn't only one thing, it was multiple things that happened, then I would have very easily gone into a cocoon and not progressed my energy and therefore not have <laughs> So, YOLO. Side character in the TV show. Um, Wait, is this a TV show? Yeah, it's a TV show. Uh, I'm speaking of powerlifting. I'm maxing all my lifts tomorrow with a friend, and I'm fucking nervous. But carbs. I mean, if you do keto, just don't bother watching this channel because I promise you, I'm never doing anything low carb. And um, I'm carbing up for for life. <laughs>
Oh yeah, don't look at the bottom of this pretzel because we got stuck to the thing. It wasn't me. <laughs> it's beautiful. Don't look at it. Oh my god, look what I did. I just dunked it in like a dip. Butter is not a dip. <laughs> Speaking of keto, butter is a dip. What's my hair doing? You look like you should be on Stranger Things. Oh my god, we're actually using <laughs> butter as a dip. <laughs> that was delicious, husband. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>